the Belkin inside the screened mains filtered box and you can see there that the outputs instead of going into unbalanced mains lead as Belkin uh, recommend and as Ofcom approve of we are putting them into uh, two pieces of RG213 screened coaxial cable which you can see just goes round the floor up on here into the second screen box and you can see in there the other Belkin with its lights flashing coming out of that we have a choked Ethernet cable which goes up here like this which is plugged in to the back of my home hub my second home hub which is set up as a repeater in my office the main home hub is wirelessly connected to that uh, in one of the upstairs bedrooms the second box that the uh, one of the Belkins goes into you can see it's just got a normal domestic main socket here that we strip down so that we can connect it and it's connected it with uh, coaxial cable and it is balanced we've now put the Eaton radio on 128.168 megahertz on AM which is in the middle of the airband and this is with the Belkin still in the screen box transferring a large 2.93 gigabit file over from one machine to the other and as you can hear there is no background noise at the moment on the Eaton radio we've now taken the lid off uh, of the uh, the first where the first Belkin lives as you can see it's quite happily still transferring the file um, it's still inside the box it's still mains filtered and if we go over here to where the Eaton radio is we'll see that the interference is non-existent at the moment on 128 megs We've now plugged the Belkin out of its screen box into the mains as Belkin recommend and as, as Ofcom allow and you can immediately hear the noise that has come up on the Eaton radio it's without transferring the file. and this is without transferring the file and you can see the rubbish that is displayed on the Hamid spectrum analyzer this is, uh, we're listening on the radio at 128 megs and here is the radio on 128 megs and you can hear that noise of the Belkin idling this is now looking at the screen of the master computer and it is now going to drag a file across here we've now started the file transfer and as you can see that is transferring on there you can hear in the background the noise and you can see here that we're looking at the spectrum analyzer with the e-field probe and you can see the racket that is being created on the display and we're looking at uh, 200 megs on the scope with the middle position at 99 megahertz Right, this is still with the Eaton radio on AM on 128 megs on airband. I would like to be flying over here in a Ryanair jet 
with this racket going on underneath me. We're now looking at the spectrum analyzer and uh, you can see that we've got energy up here going up to a thousand megahertz. Now that's more than three times the specification of uh, the Belkins. It's now going to stop the file transfer. File transfer has stopped. And now it's going to start again. And the file transfer has started and you can see the muck generated right across the spectrum. These really are filthy. We've got a centre frequency of 481 megahertz. The Belkins are transferring the file and you can see that the information is going up, going just across. Finished. It's just finished. It was going up as far as a gigahertz. Yeah, there it goes. That's the file transfer starting again. And we're, uh, say, 481.99 megahertz is the centre frequency. We've just moved the marker to a gigahertz. And you can see that there is all this energy up here. So it's just completely making a mess of the entire radio frequency spectrum. I'll cancel this. We're now going to switch off the transfer. And there you go. Uh, and you're just now seeing the idling peaks of the Belkins. That's one Belkin unplugged. And that's the other Belkin unplugged. And this is what we have.